go away and bring the governor we didn't vote you protesting women tell traditional rulers wow which place is this we can see the uh the picture of the protest here uh let's see where this took place one of the major factors that determined the victory of the all progressive congress apc in benue state during the last general election was the rate at which the state's former governor samuel Otom kept playing politicians with the security challenges uh, challenges that face the state benue state uh, considerably was one of the most restive states in nigeria during the regime of ex-president Muhammad Bari, and so many communities in the state were turned into barely zero populated communities due to the menace of herdsmen attack banditry and other socio-economic challenges great number of village women at otese native of guma local government area in benue state trooped out today to register their disaffection in the ways governor Hyacinth Alaya of the state has handled the insecurity menace battling the state since he was sworn in. The state government had ordered the traditional rulers in the area to mediate with the protesting women, but they turned down all forms of approaches from the traditional rulers. The protesting women told, uh, stated, also stated that the major reason they supported the governor earlier during the gov governorship election was to restore peace to the state which his predecessor had been allegedly toying with can you imagine the protesting women who defy the blazing sunshine to register their grievance with the state governor told the tradition tra uh, traditional rulers to step aside and facilitate governor alia to speak directly with them because the traditional rulers was not the one they casted their vote for during the last uh, election. Hmm. Can you imagine? So the issue now is that the governor Alia, which is the new APC governor, the Reverend Father Governor in uh, in uh, uh, Benue State, uh, has been seen not to do well in managing the security of the state. Okay, and now they are protesting the need. The women of the of that area they are protesting and they need the governor to talk to them, but instead of the governor coming to talk to them, he sent traditional rulers to go and talk to them, and that is why these women are saying all the traditional rulers that have come should step aside and they should go and get the governor because they didn't cast their vote for the traditional rulers; they casted their vote for the governor, and they want to see the governor face to face. Okay. So now, uh, only God knows why the governor refused to talk to the women and choose to send the traditional rulers to go and interface with the women. But the truth remains that the women have rejected the traditional rulers and have requested that the governor should come out to talk to them. Because the security of the state is not improving, um, they are alleging that the previous governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, was playing politics with the security issues and that is why they voted the current governor, hoping that when he comes to power as a Christian, he will be able to manage the security issues effectively to the heart and desire of the people. Unfortunately, under the uh, watch of the new governor, High Alia Hyacinth, the security state um, of the nation of, third of, the, of that particular state has gone worse. And they need him to come out and speak to them. There are a few comments here on that regard. Let's see what people are saying. And so I tell them you should have voted PDP in that state. Abi. <laughs> but again, the question is who is to be trusted? This the high saint Alea was voted because he's a Christian. But unfortunately, he seemed not to probably be doing according to the will of the people. Honestly, APC led administration since 2015 have increased a few things one of them is hardship in the country two is more recruitment in the kidnapped industry more killings than ever lopsided appointments nepotism became worse than anything increasing of idps bribery and corruption uh, scores the highest mark 
in the name of fighting corruption, high cost of food stuff without the government check, checkmating the system. These are the things that have actually grown and got worse under APC government right from 2015. And somebody is saying Samuel Otom was for you people uh, putting his life on the line, but you Benue citizens hated him and pledged nine and pledged your vote for APC. So now that your governor cannot come to talk to you, not put his life on the line, know that you have voted for masquerade, bear the pain, <laughs> re masquerade. Because the tone was actually always coming out to talk to the people. And they said he was playing politics with the security of the state. Now he has left. The person here people have voted have actually even refused to come out to talk to you. Rather, he's sending traditional rulers. So, which one do you prefer? Someone say they are on their own. <laughs> they go see fire. Say they go see fire. Change Nigeria is here. Abi. Somebody say this is why APC have bought all the traditional rulers to come whenever Nigerians will come out to present their pain. Senseless contribution. What you said doesn't make sense at all and not relevant at all. You speak like somebody. People cannot just come out without insulting others. Quite unfortunate. Somebody say reply to Kudus Baniri. You are the real. Can you imagine that's another insult between people that are commenting and that's not good enough. Okay, yes. Uh, somebody say, Father will never forsake his people, he will listen to your grievances. Can you imagine? So, I read that the Reverend Father, Father will never forsake his people. I uh, let him come and talk to them now. Why is he sending a uh, traditional ruler to speak when he's in the state? Let him come and talk to the people. Okay, somebody say, Reply to Ikena Moses. You don't even have a father and mother. You are just showing that you are a child of a baby factory. Can you imagine this kind of insult coming to the guy? Mm -hmm. And when you say father here, he's not talking about father and mother in the nuclear family. He's talking about the Reverend Father who is not the governor of the state. This is a great signal to all Nigerian political office holders to allow masses to have the dividend of democracy. Okay? You in each zone of Nigeria. Please let there be peace instead of interest in looting the treasury. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we say hey, we will never see anything yet. Fulani will take your land very soon. Ha, can you imagine? So that means APC obviously because uh, Tinubu said he was coming to continue for where Buhari stopped. So this is exactly how it's going to happen, giving room for the headsmen to take over wherever they enter. God will help them. So that is what is happening in Benue State. The people have refused to speak to traditional rulers. They said they want to speak to the governor or they want the governor to come out and speak to them concerning the security state of the country and what is handling it the way he is handling it. Thank you for listening and let's have a comment in this matter.